Hey guys, so before I start this video, I just want to say thank you to Lithium from Nintendo Collecting and CJR. I'll put a link. I'm sure most of you guys follow them already, but I'll put it down in the description so you can follow them if you haven't seen them. They were the ones that did videos on these great Target sales that made me go out and look for it. Now, unfortunately, where I live, the, the bridge to get over to Montreal was uh, seven weeks of construction. So getting over was, it wasn't too big of a problem, but coming back was going to be a real bitch. So I decided not to go as soon as I saw the videos. I waited. The bridge work finally finished on Monday, and I went across the Target right away. And this is what it looked like in the Target. So as you can see, there was deals on everything. There was accessories, the cases, the 3DS games, DS games, the, the Vita, uh, Xbox One, PS3, PS4, 360, jeez, women's underwear. There was deals on everything. It was ridiculous, but it was also a graveyard. Everything was gone. The Marios were gone. The Pokemons were gone. Um, what I thought, all the Luigi Mansions were gone. There was literally... A deal on every second game and it was either seven dollars or ten dollars when I finally got the guys attention because there were still people there picking up the scraps like what I was doing I finally got the guys attention I grabbed a couple of games which I'll show you what I picked up in a second but I had asked them I said do you know if they're restocking are you guys take doing like any vouchers for games coming back in he said it was like a zombie apocalypse for the the previous Monday Tuesday Wednesday people were just coming in I'm hoping that it's not all resellers, I'd really hope that people are buying these games to enjoy them, but he said people were coming in buying like 5-6 titles of the same thing, so I'm guessing keep a lookout for like Mario and Luigi U and all the Pokemon games, because they, they were on sale for $10, so you're going to see them on Craigslist soon, you're going to see them on Kijiji, you might see them on eBay, you're going to see a lot of things that say sealed. Anyway, let me show you what I picked up. It's not the greatest, but still really good deals. So I wound up leaving a couple of games on the shelves, I decided not to go for the double triple thing, and I could have easily picked up these games and traded them in for store credit, but, you know, I figure, share the wealth, I only picked up what I wanted in my collection. I left, um, I think, um, Skyward Sword and Wind Waker, stuff like that, let somebody else pick those up and enjoy those titles. Also, the 360 games were on sale, everything I had, but... There was some good sales, like $5 a pop, like I could get all the Gears of War, Red Dead, the Dead Space, you know, it was it was a decent deal of those that were left, but those weren't the marquee titles. What I managed to pick up was Transformers, the Ultimate Autobot Edition, it comes with Dark Side of the Moon and Revenge of the Fallen, kind of like a mission base, go to point A, point B, transform, transform back into the car fighting. Not sure if I'm going to keep this one, I might give this to my brother as a gift. I picked up the Vita version of LEGO Hobbit. LEGO games are fun in that it's uh, collecting, smash everything up, pick up all your LEGO pieces. I really enjoyed uh, the first Batman was really good. I thought if that's where the LEGO games were, that's, you know, like mindless fun. I enjoy that. But then I played the second one where Superman and all the other heroes are your buddy and it kind of fell off, especially when they started to talk. So hopefully they don't, they don't speak in this Hobbit version, but I'm going to give it a try and for seven dollars, you know, you can't go wrong. I still, I'm still a fan of the Vita. I picked up um, Angry Birds Star Wars Edition. This one, you know, it's your basic Angry Angry Birds game. Pull back the slingshot, shoot it, destroy all the pigs in the buildings. But each character now has uh, a Star Wars themed weapon. So, like the Red Bird becomes Luke. It has a lightsaber. The big uh, 
I think it was the big black bomb bird is the the Wookiee you now, and the same thing too. He like roars. He's super strong. Uh, there's a pink one that's like Leia, etc. They all have a uh, certain Star Wars uh, theme. Anyway, Scribblenauts Unmasked. Never played this uh, Scribblenaut series. I heard good things about it. The only thing I know is that you draw items that help you along the way. I'm not even sure. Don't quote me on that. But I always heard good things about it. My students really like this, so I'm going to give this a try. And it's got DC heroes in it, so hopefully it won't be terrible. Hopefully it won't be like uh, DC Universe Lego Batman 2. So those are what I picked up from Target. Uh, like I said, my Target was like a graveyard. There's another Target about... 50 minutes away and I'm toying with the idea of going there sometime this week just to see what they have but I'm gonna have to bring the wife and turn it into like a let's go eat and you shop around too because I don't want to drive like uh, an hour and a half round trip and then I get there and there's nothing there so those are what I picked up from the awesome Target deals obviously I got there late but there was still some good things there like I said like the the Zeldas are still there uh, I think two of each there was uh, a bunch of PS3 and 360 games. I have most of those titles, so I left them, but $5 for a PlayStation 3 or $5 for a 360 game is a heck of a deal. And like I said, each of these games, the handhelds, were only $7 each, so I spent uh, 28 and with the one tax that we pay, I think, you know, like maybe all of $30, and each of these games retail are still 20 plus, so I thought that was a pretty good deal. Now. The next store that I went to, we're going to keep this show going, is the bookstore in that mall is going out of business. All the bookstores seem to be going out of business now, which for me, like, I really like, I really enjoy reading. I don't know if it's because of the profession I'm in, or I've always been like that as a child. So we have a pretty good library. We've got bookshelves all over the living room and uh, the hallway to the kitchen. So I'm going to show you what I picked up. All of the books were 50% off the, the back price, unless they had a sticker on them. Um, it's Kohl's, it's part of uh, the Indigo family, and I heard that the chapters in Montreal is closing down too, so I might have to go check that place out anyway. Okay, so the first book that I picked up was Ready Player One by Ernest Klein, and it's uh, New York Times bestsellers. It's one of those stories in uh, the future, and it has a lot of video game references. I heard good things about it, so this is the first one that I'm going to read out of all the books I collected. Uh, it sells for $14, half off, I paid 7 and change for it. The Pokemon Essential Handbook. The need to know stats and facts of over 640 Pokemon. Again, half off, it was $9.99, so 5 and change. I'm saying 5 and change because we, we only have to pay one tax. I've seen people have this in their background for when they do the reviews or they talk about uh, video games. It's the 30th anniversary of Capcom, and it's uh, their character encyclopedia. I went through this quickly already. I'll open it up on a random page for you. So you have a huge picture, their name, uh, where they originated, any games that they were in. Um, talks about if they have any spin-offs. So here we have uh, Lord Raptor from Darkstalkers. I'll go to another page at random. So here we have... Proto Man from Mega Man, and it's hard to read backwards here. Princess Delavote from Cyberbots. Not a character I'm familiar with, but still an interesting read. Really nice book to have. And this was $17 on sale, half off, so what, $8.50? This book, I was going to buy no matter what like this is what I was going to the bookstore for before I saw that everything was on sale and that this one was going out of business as well was the console wars I saw a couple of reviews and this has actually been on TV the the forwards writ written by Seth Rogen and Evan Goldberg really funny intro that's all that I read of this so far that's my little receipt bookmark up there and their, their forward is they just go back and forth talking about video games that they enjoyed and games that they played growing up this whole book is about the, I guess, the big battle between Nintendo and Sega in the 80s and 90s. So I'm looking forward to this one, too. I'll probably read this one when I go back to work in between classes. And then I picked up a bunch of Brady games. These ones had stickers on the back already, so I picked up... I like to have these, so I picked up uh, Gears of War 3. The sticker on the back of this guy is $8. Perfect condition. 
Red Dead Redemption, probably one of my favorite games. Six dollars. Batman Arkham Origins. This one was twelve dollars. I guess because it's a, a newer game, but all of the books are are perfect. They're not like returns or they haven't had creased corners. Not that that matters because I will go through them, but it's nice to get a perfect book at such a great price. Some hardcover books. These are some of the bigger ones. The Last of Us. And yes, I've just finished playing through the PS4 version. It's, it's a terrific game. If you haven't played it, shame on you. Go play it. And this one I paid, I paid 20 bucks for this one, but it's a very nice book. The pictures in it are beautiful. And then... Ugh, this big guy. I paid 25 for it, but they sell it for the back price is $60. It's got a very shiny dust jacket. This is the Halo Encyclopedia, the definitive guide to the Halo universe. And this is also a heavy, heavy book. Same can be said. All the pictures and everything are beautiful. This is shows pictures of the Ark, Master Chief, uh descriptions of the covenant etc so i picked up a bunch of these and it's um one of the clerks said that they're there for sure till october so i'm waiting maybe there's going to be another reduction on book prices because there was some books there that i still wanted to pick up but i didn't want to go too crazy um also it was like i said it was 50 percent off so i saw the the box set of all the the Legend of Zelda walkthroughs and the, um, the definitive of the Hyrule Historia. You know, it comes in that really nice uh, treasure chest. I'll put a picture up. Uh, that was on sale 50% off, so it was going for $125. There was three of them left on the shelf, so I'm going to go back sporadically over the next couple of months. Hopefully, if it comes down to 75% off, I will pick it up, but I couldn't justify spending that much money on all those books. Even though it looks nice... It's just, I don't know, I, I couldn't do it yet, but I will if it comes down anymore. Okay, so these are just uh, the last random pickups that I had for the week. So I picked up the Nintendo Game Boy Advance uh, e-card reader. I don't have any e-card games to play, but I plugged it in. It works fine. I'll show the video up there too. And it had one game saved on it. It had uh, the original Donkey Kong, or Donkey Kong Jr. was on it. So that's cool to have. I only paid uh, $4.99 for this. Never had one. I'm going to have to look for some of the cards now. Seems cool. I also picked up the Game Boy uh, camera. It says $9.99 on it, but you can see this is an old faded sticker. I asked if they could do any better. I got it for $5.99. Um, I don't know what to say about this. I remember seeing the commercials for it and all the crazy pictures you could take. It came out in 1998. So that was the year I was graduating high school, so I was not I was still playing video games, but I wasn't Game Boy camera it up. My brother might have had this with the printer, I can't remember, but I remember seeing these. Uh, all, I, all I know is that the see-through purple one is the extremely rare one. It was only released in Japan, so there's not that many around here. It came in four or five colors. I remember seeing a yellow, a green, the red, obviously the blue. But if you ever see the purple one, pick that one up, that's the rare one. While waiting to go see Guardians of the Galaxy, we had some time to kill, so we went to go eat and we looked around, uh, I don't know, like just the stores next to the, the movie theater. And for $2.99, I got this pack. It's by uh, Tommy, Tony Games, and it came with two little keychains, which are nice collectibles. Those are going to be hung up somewhere. This is Mario on Yoshi, and this one is Toad with a baby blue Yoshi. So I'll hang those somewhere. I also saw, um, it's also by Tommy or Tommy, I don't know how you pronounce it, it's only one M so I'm calling it Tommy. They had the Mario Kart 7 figurines and the Sonic Riders figurines, where you pull back and they they go across the floor. They're die cast, they were really nice, but they were tiny, like they were about this size for $7. I couldn't justify picking those up. If I can find a picture, it'll be somewhere around here to show you what they look like. If they were any cheaper, I would have probably picked them up, but they're so tiny. I just, I couldn't justify spending seven bucks a piece on them. Also, World of Nintendo games. I don't know where to find them. Are they in Canada? Is it just the US? I found these ones. They're uh, part of the figurine collection. I think there's six of them. Donkey Kong, Mario, Luigi, 
Princess. Uh, oh, Bowser. I saw the Bowser, but uh, the face, the paint job that they had on it, it looked terrible. Each one looked terrible. I don't know if it was a manufacturer or if it was just the scraps that were left on the shelves. Anyway, I can't find the World of Nintendo ones. I went to Target, to Toys R Us, couldn't find it. These were the only things I found that these were at Walmart. Not the same thing, not the same quality. The pictures that I've seen of them, I'll put one up to, they look phenomenal. I can't wait to get my hands on some of them. At checkout, my fiance was in line. She was. She likes to collect the uh, elves. Those they kind of look like trolls, but they're elves. Uh, I went to the the discount table that they have behind the cash, and I found this, the Wii U version of Injustice: Gods Among Us, and it was brought back because they bought the wrong game. And on the back, it says ten dollars scratched out for eight dollars, and it says. Uh, I can't speak French too well, but uh, Vente Final. So it means final sale, that's it. So $8, I got Wii U Injustice. And it was just, you know, like one of those things, like maybe if I had picked something up in the store and I was checking out, I would have never thought to look at the table. It's just I had two or three minutes to kill. I walked over, I saw like um, those broken mini hockey sticks, uh, a couple of those Connect. Um, what do they have now? Like Halo and the, the Mario Kart racers. I saw a couple of those, but pieces are missing. So I left those be, and then I saw this one just sitting there. I just saw the Joker's face. There was crap around it, and I was like, hey, pick that up. $8, why not, right? And the last of all the stuff that I picked up for the last week, um, like the thrift store stuff, I found Izzy's Quest for Olympic Gold. This is from the Atlanta Games, Olympic Games. Um, I never had it as a, a child, but need it for the Super Nintendo collection. It's, uh, I think, like, side-scroller. I'm not 100%, maybe if I can find some video or picture, but I'm pretty sure that it's a side-scrolling game, and obviously you're looking for the Olympic rings. I picked up for $1.99 PSP The Bigs. I like The Bigs. I still play my PSP sometimes, so screw you, I bought it. Also, Manhunt 2. Haven't played it. I have it on a few different systems now. I think I have it on the Wii and the Xbox. I'm not 100% sure. The first one was really good. I just never got around to playing this. Maybe I'll throw this in the PSP, give it a whirl, see how it is. I picked up Automedus Excellent. It's supposed to be based on uh, the Gradius games. Picked this one up for three bucks. And for a dollar, I picked up the shoot. For PS3, it says that it requires that weird wand and the camera. I have the camera, but I don't have the wand. So, I don't know if I'll ever be able to play this unless I can find one of those wands on the cheap. And last, Akira, the Signature Edition. So I had this on VHS. Obviously, that went the way of the buffalo. I lost it. So that's everything that we picked up at Target, at the bookstore closing, and all the random cool stuff that I picked up from the poor stores along the week. Um, going back to work soon, guys, so videos are going to start to be, instead of once a week, they might be once every two weeks, depending on my work schedule. Um, 25 subscribers, over 500 views now. Thank you very much, guys, those of you that subscribe, those of you that watched and come back to watch the next video. It's very much appreciated. It means that I'm doing something mildly entertaining. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You sub to me, I'll sub for you. We'll see you next week, guys. Take care.